Hey folks, Photo Bob here. Welcome back. So, I just finished putting chains on the tractor, the BX1850, and uh, hopefully it's going to work pretty good. I know one thing, you know they're on there when you're backing up. <clears throat> so, this is supposed to be a pretty good snow event coming up, but the, I, and I have a plow, um, I think it's uh, yeah, 60 inch plow that uh, I could use, but the driveway is not frozen and it likes to dig in. So um, what I like to use early in the season are skid shoes for the uh, bucket. And these are universal. You can put these on any color tractor. It doesn't matter um, for a compact, subcompact, uh, check the uh, R2 manufacturing website to see how many you should get. I know they recommend if you have a wider um, bucket on your uh, loader that you should put one in the middle. I only have two and I put them on at the very edge so that my edge doesn't catch and dig into the drive. So the purpose of the extender is to allow you to uh, create like a mini fork, and which I'm demonstrating here with the two by fours. You could actually move them in a little bit if you had something that was smaller than the width of the bucket, um, or you could just put that into the bucket. <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying. Uh, the point was to demonstrate the uh, versatility of the edge tamer. It's not just for snow removal. You can use it for earth removal uh, earth moving, stuff like that. It's an inexpensive tool. I think I got them for less than $100 at the time. The price may be more now. I believe the extenders were like $70 or something, maybe only $50. I don't remember. But R2 manufacturing website to get your edge tamer, your extenders. In addition to the extender, I believe they have a a device that you can mount on here that will allow you to uh, go and pick up your uh, garbage totes, your dumpsters that you take to the curb, and it'll pick the dumpster up and then you can carry the dumpster to the curb depending on how far it is. Out here we got some people that have a half a mile or maybe more to the curb um, that would make a great solution for easily picking up the dumpster you can actually, you know, put one on there, one on here, carry two down at the same time, and then bring them back. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and mount this. So inside, it's a three-quarter inch socket to tighten it. And just run it down. You want to run it down tight. I had one of them fall off once because I didn't tighten it enough. Actually, what I did is I had a washer under the uh, bolt and uh, that washer came out and the edge tamer fell off. So Now the next thing we're gonna do Remove the extender because we're not going to need that. You're not going to want that while you're pushing snow. Half inch wrench, half inch socket. I just like to keep it all together. So I put the bolt right back through the uh, extender and uh, store them. I really like these edge tamers. It's a very inexpensive way to clear snow without digging into your gravel driveway. Um, I like them a lot. Before it gets too much darker, I'm going to lift the door and we'll take a look outside and see what kind of snow we got. 
So right now we're looking at two and a half, two, two, two and a half inches. I think it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Sun's getting ready to set, it's setting fast. And uh, I'm gonna make a run down the driveway real quick.